He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. Prin never looked happy a day in her life. Been Walter's cat for years. Maybe he said her name as his password. That's not it. I have to keep looking. That's not it. I have to keep looking. He loves all his first editions, but Alice in Wonderland always came out on top. Wouldn't be surprised if that was his password. office administrator ages ago. A photo Walter took of his first desk on his first day of work. Nick inherited it. Just reminders. Nothing that could be used as a password. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. And I'm in. Let's see what secrets you got in here, Walter. Mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. The car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him, and his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. I think it's time I check Nick's office. Hope he still leaves his notes out.
I had the code, I could get in here. Four digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Thanks, <laughs> bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. What was he looking for? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick had a contact, same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Basswood isn't the safe, sleepy town it once was. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. You need to be here with me and listen to what I have to say. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did it first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. 
Someone is going to find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Okay. But not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. Here we are. It barely looks like anything happened. It's been a week, but we'll find something. I know we will. Is it okay if I stay here? I don't think I'm ready to... Sure. I doubt I'll be good company anyway. You mean you're over-focused to the point of non-reactive thing? I remember. Especially how you always end up being right somehow. I hope. I don't know what I'm hoping for. Yeah, me neither. This is the place. Nick, I'll get to the bottom of this. First, gather the clues. Cold, hard, plain facts. That's the only way I'll know what really happened. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this long. It's a bit far from the road. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. No skid marks, no trace of sudden braking. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. These road signs are intact, not a scratch on them. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense judging the damages to the area. The bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. Fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel?
Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. Things don't add up. But Nick's car did burn. I know that. Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong.
I thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you alright? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I think I can handle this. Hopefully. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. The last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. It's... it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm at the doctor's more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here. You know, Anna, Joe's pretty sharp for an old man who can't walk. That's right. And Sam here's got a good mind for a fool-headed kid. <laughs> Dad, I love you, and I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house. Your rules, I'll leave you to it. Thank you. Though before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave, and she's strong. But she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. She's that I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam. Don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. 
See how bad it is. I need to get in there eventually, but maybe I should look around the property first. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Anna and I spend our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations. Anna never got rid of this sign. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. I want everyone to know this house is sold. You're mine. I own you now. <laughs> it might be 200 years before it's paid off, but it's mine. So, when can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No. You're gonna sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is that? So, if someone breaks in, you can fight them off. And maybe because I like being near the window. Mm, somehow I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't going to decorate itself. And I want you to be part of that. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house.
Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? Um, Anna, are you, you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. <sighs> Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? No. And I always wanted to visit France, but life is just too strange for me there. No drinks in here. Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Finally, there. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. Punk broke in here, wrecked it. There.
I don't think she ever forgave me for saying I didn't think they sounded better. Here, you might take the edge off. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? God. You're not alone. Here, have a drink, it'll help. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. It's going to be okay. I'm not as sure as you sound. Nick's dead. My house is trashed. Well, you did sound a bit hollow. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that, you know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. It wasn't your fault that Nick closed himself off. No one makes someone distant, especially someone like Nick. It must have been on his side. He was dealing with something dark. I know that's why I close people off. I never spoke to Nick again after leaving town. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? 
He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're going to find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... I want to know who killed Nick as much as you do. Let's get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. I just keep bouncing back from terrified to angry. That is very understandable. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. <laughs>